everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and Brooklyn's helping me today. Hey guys! And we're gonna show you how to do what we're calling the CGH Faux French Braid. Now this one is, kind of looks like a French braid when we're done, but for those of you that are French braid challenged, this is a great solution. Also, it just is a really fun new technique that I've never played with before, so I thought you guys would love it too. Now to begin, I have just pulled out a few wispies near the front of her face. This is an optional step, it just depends on what you're looking for and the age of your daughter. Um, I'm gonna take a section just right here at the top. So not too much hair, but we still want a, a decent size, size little section. And I'm gonna smooth it out so we don't have any crazies. Get it placed how I want it. Then I'm just gonna take it and divide it into three sections. So one, two, and three. And I'm gonna do just a regular three strand braid right here. And I'm doing this sort of loose, and you'll see why in a minute. We don't want it super tight because we're gonna be working with the different stitching inside this braid. So take this as far down as we can. And you can do this hairstyle with layers, but you just have to be aware that you might have some start popping out like I'm going to in just a minute on Brooklyn's. That's not a big deal. Messy braids right now are really in. Then I'm just gonna secure it with an elastic to hold it for now. Okay, so we're gonna go back up, and on this right side, I'm gonna pick up a little piece. I'm gonna take it all the way over, and this leftmost stitch, this very first one, I'm gonna loosen it up, put my fingers through. I'm gonna take this section of hair, and pull it through, just like that. And you can see why we left this semi-loose at this point. I'm gonna take a piece from this left side, smooth it out, and I'm gonna go up here to this rightmost stitch and pull it through. We're gonna continue this pattern all the way down. So I'm picking up hair, smoothing it out, going to the left edge loop and pulling it through. Going back to the left side, I'm gonna make sure I leave my wispies down. Pull this piece, go to the next loop down from where I was working before, and just go ahead and pull it through. Like this, pick up a piece, cross it over, pull it through. When you get down here to the bottom where your pieces from the top are falling, you can see that I just picked those up and go ahead and add them into the rest of the hairstyle as well. So now you may have pieces that have gone through more than once and that's totally fine. Okay, so we're definitely done. I can't do any more. So now I'm just gonna release that elastic and go ahead and re-secure all of it together. And then you can go back and just loosen these up a little bit. And you can loosen these pieces up here a little bit so that these show just a little more. And there you have this really fun braid that isn't really a fishtail. So those of you that have a hard time holding all the hair or fishtailing, what you're working with is just a basic braid and then you're just lacing pieces through. But it also has a little bit of a mermaid effect and it's a very soft, flowy look, I think. So it's really pretty for a little bit older especially like teenager plus. So there you go. Okay, let's do the final spin. Ta -da. And back around. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment below telling us how many days of school you have left. I bet you can tell me how many you have. 27, including the weekend. 20, not including the weekends. Hey, you can't tell so we're all excited. Close. So Woo. almost there. And we are only 50,000 followers away from 1 million followers on Instagram. Woo! So excited. I feel like, uh, 1 million dollars. Only it would be 1 million followers. 
So give us some love over on Instagram and I'll put the link down below. Go over and give us a like and follow us. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Anyway, we'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye, you guys. Bye. What you're doing by doing it this way is creating it where it's like attached to the braid underneath. So there will be no movement like throughout the day. One million dollars! Do you even know what that's from? No. <laughs> You're my mini me. What's that? Dr. Evil. Austin Powers. Nothing? No. You got nothing. I know what this is. What? Like the guy says this, right? Like a little million guy. Million dollars. That's all yeah, I know. Yeah, Dr. Evil. That's all I. That's all I know. Is you it know, a movie? Have you ever seen Austin no. Powers? Oh, well, there you go. That's yeah, you're too old. You've seen it. I'm too old. You're my mini-me. I'm the young child. Doesn't she look like a mini-me? A mini-me? I think so.